We are now in the step where it's going to be a little bit more detailed in the sense of architecture. The PHM I mentioned before is somehow the monitoring uh, module of the whole safety system, where we also can indicate health, where we can um, have different approaches to, to supervise the application. I just explained the left side, it's the outside architecture, and then the right side is how a PHM is working. So the Platform Health Manager has connections, uh, monitors the state manager, it monitors the application, and it demands a uh, recovery action from the execution management. In case I degradate, I need to know what kind of recovery I can get. So maybe there is a function I can even call in case um, I'm in the specific mode or I have a return value that is bound already or is static. Um, this is a recovery action. This is somehow how we look from outside to the Platform Health Manager. The Platform Health Manager inside has different supervision possibilities. Logical, a live supervision and deadline supervision. Logical means it's like a scheduler in the past, you know which step comes after another and you supervise that from different checkpoints. It's going too deep? It's okay? Okay. Um, and then you have a life and deadline, which is more, more time-based. Means you calculate your time base and then you ask yourself, get I, um, a response on the life or not? And I can do that once, tw two times, three times, and then I have all the recovery. So somehow it gives you the possibility to measure the way the health indicator can be observed. And the more health indicators you get, the better you are. So uh, let's point maybe an example that's easier. Um, you have this person, complex system, sitting inside a car and he was a, with his friends so outside, he had a beer and maybe two. And after that, you see that in, in your inside camera in his eyes. So maybe the health indicator of this person is not that good. You can compare that to the health indicator of your ECU and say, maybe we should go for another profile inside of our car because this guy shouldn't drive at all. So we can combine health indicators if you look outside of our ECU systems in future. And this makes us more safe if we go for automated driving from my perspective.